This video tutorial is brought to you by tipsquirrel.com. Hi everybody, Mike Hoffman here. When we're working in Lightroom, we may occasionally want to apply similar develop settings to more than one photo. And in this video, we're going to look at several different ways of applying settings to multiple images at one time. We're going to start with this image, and I'm working in the develop module. I have the film strip visible here at the bottom. You may not see the film strip, and if not, you'll want to click this small disclosure triangle at the bottom to make the film strip visible. I'm going to start with this image here in the film strip, and it's part of a series of several images that were all taken under the same conditions and have similar exposure issues. Here I'm going to adjust the first image just by bringing up the exposure about one stop. Once I've got this adjusted, I want to repeat the same adjustment on the other two images in the series. Now one way to do that is to go to the next image in the series, and here in the right side panel, at the bottom of the panel, we see a button marked Previous. This will apply the same develop settings that I just made. The trouble with this is, this button can be unpredictable. Anything you do to an image may count as a setting, and so you may not always get exactly what you thought you were going to get. A more predictable way is similar to copy and paste. We'll go back to the first image here in the film strip, and we'll right click in Windows or control click on a Mac, and we'll choose Develop Settings. Then we'll choose Copy Settings. We'll get a dialog box with all the settings, and we can check all the settings, or we can check none of the settings, or we can individually check settings so that we're controlling exactly what's being copied. Here I'm going to choose the basic tone which is what I want to copy between the images. I'll choose copy and then I'll go to the next image and repeat the process. I right click or control click, choose develop settings and now I'll choose paste settings and voila the settings are updated and we can see here that we have an exposure of plus one here on this image. Now if you have a lot of these to do even this process can become tedious so Lightroom has another feature that allows us to synchronize settings to multiple images at the same time. We'll just select an entire group here in the film strip and make sure that the image with the adjustments is the most selected and that's the one with the brightest highlight here in the film strip and it's the one that's shown here in the develop module. Now notice that this button over here on the right has changed. It no longer says previous, it says sync and we'll choose that and this brings up the Synchronize Settings dialog box. Now this looks just like the Copy Settings dialog box we saw a moment ago. We choose which settings we want to carry over and we'll click Synchronize. All the images now that are selected are updated in a single step. Now this can be especially useful when you have a group of images and you're wanting to adjust white balance. You may have included a gray card or you may just have a group of images as I have here. I'll highlight the group, once again making sure that the image with the gray card or the one that I want to use as a reference is the most selected. I'll go ahead and set the white balance by clicking the eyedropper in an area that is gray. And then I'll click on Sync. I'll check None to clear all the checkboxes and then I'll just select White Balance Only and click on Synchronize. And if you watch here in the film strip, you'll be able to see the rest of the images updated with the same white balance settings. Now Lightroom offers one more way to edit multiple images at once. Here I'm going to highlight a group of images here that also need similar adjustments to each other. They're all a bit washed out and they're a bit dark. Now before I make any changes, what I want to do is click the little switch here on the sync button and this will change to Auto Sync. Auto Sync will allow our adjustments to affect all the selected images at one time. I'll make my changes to this one image, and as I do, we can see the other images in the film strip become updated immediately as soon as we get done making the change. If I add contrast here, I'll get contrast on the other images as soon as I'm done. This is an automatic synchronization process, and it's very quick and easy. By adjusting multiple images in Lightroom using the techniques that we've seen here, you'll really increase your efficiency in the develop module. 
My name is Mike Hoffman. My website is hoffmanartdesign.com. You'll find a variety of Photoshop, Lightroom, and photography tips, tricks, and other information there. You can follow me on Twitter at mhoffman2001, and you can find me on Google Plus at gplusmikehoffman.com. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this tip.